Bonjour and welcome to your daily message One Card Pool. Today I'm going to be using the Earth Warriors Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild and there is a link in the description box below if you're interested in getting the cards as always. So let's see what message we have for you today. What do we need to think about? So your card for the day, oh, it's landscape, it's card 26, Amaru, the beautiful place. I'm going to show you the artwork because this is stunning. So I'm going to try and go up close so you can really take in the imagery. What a nice way to start the week. Let's see what the booklet has to say about this. Okay. Your dreams of a more beautiful world are not a product of childish fantasy nor idle imagination. They are true spiritual visions inspired by the universal heart that yearns for divine paradise to be manifested in all worlds. You have a life purpose to assist in the creation of a divine harmony in the world through sacred activism and the expression of your soul talents. Believe that the beautiful world you long for is not only possible, but part of your spiritual responsibility to create. Don't be scared to face a problem head on. You don't need to be willful about a situation, but in facing the issues, you shall simplify the complexity and recognize the practical steps that will create healing change. Keep your mind and heart open as you ask for unconditionally loving guidance as to how you best evoke divine healing in any situation. There is an outcome available to you that is far more beautiful and divinely inspired than what you can currently envision. Ask for divine help and trust unconditionally in the assistance that will lead. Oh, that will lead you away from the limitations of your current thinking and into the perfection of what the divine wishes for you and our world. It has been said that peace is not merely the absence of war. Earth warriors understand that we need to fight for peace in this world using our strength, courage, creativity, intelligence and will to continue align with the peaceful presence within. Saboteurs will want you to believe that peace is passive, that it involves denial or detachment from the world that isn't relevant, practical or helpful or doesn't create change, and that to rest in peace is some sort of unhealthy spiritual indulgence. They will try to convince you of these lies in order to keep you from accessing this powerful weapon against hate. A human being with peace in their heart sees more clearly, is more willing, able and effective in acting on their spiritual guidance, bringing a genuine and potent healing effect into the world. Such humans are harder to manipulate, distract and disempower. So I hope you have enjoyed your daily message. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.